Hello, everybody. Teachers Denek here. Welcome to Interactive English, which is basically an English lessons with one of the Achievers Chamber members, which is a group that I have for English learners, for high level English learners. And um, today we have got uh, Davide. It's his first time here. Hi, yeah. Davide. How are you? Hi, Denek. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime, man. It's it's a real pleasure. I'm I'm actually super that you're here for for different yeah. for different reasons. One of the reasons is that we have had a few Italian members in the group, mm -hmm. but for some reason they have been quite shy to appear on the live. So I'm very happy that you you had courage to come on live and now you are here. Thank you. Yeah, because I promised. I promised to Damien, so I needed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I mean, shy. I'm yeah. shy as well. But uh, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good opportunity. Thanks for uh, uh, giving me this chance, Danek. And uh, I'm relaxed. I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And it's great to hear a lovely Italian accent as well. You know, because we don't we, we need to mix it up here. Yeah, we don't want to hear the same people all the time. It is nice in a way to do that. I can't hear that. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? I can't hear my Italian accent. <laughs> ah, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's very nice, actually. I like it. So, um, as you may see from the title of this uh, interactive English lesson, today we are going to talk about football, which happens here from time to time. We have got some other members that like football, like Martin. You may remember the live I did yeah. with Martin about his team Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Martin from Germany. So yes, I think yes, this I will remember. be this will be a little bit football heavy again because Davide is a huge football fan. Am I right? Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, and that's because um, we met. We met uh, probably a few weeks ago, a few months ago, Zdenek, because uh, probably you hosted someone I know, uh, Paul from uh, Footy Talk. Uh, it's called this um, YouTube channel. Uh, right. Football, yeah. English, English for, for football, football fans. fans. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I, I, Paul, I used it, to. It, yeah, from Liverpool. Yes, I used to have a conversation with Paul. So, yeah. And you hosted this event, this conversation with Paul, uh, talking about Premier League. If I remember correctly, he's a Liverpool supporter and you are a, an Arsenal supporter and West Ham I fan. I am, yeah. Mm. I like both teams at the moment, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm a Juventus supporter or fan, <laughs> Italian team. Of course, mm -hmm. the, the greatest Italian team, we could say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, we can talk about that a little bit more as well, but I would also like to approach this lesson from a more generic, uh, mm -hmm. general yeah. point of view, generic point of view. Like why, I want to ask this question, like why are Italians with football? Because I have noticed they really love it. They absolutely love it. And... I respect that because I think people from my country, from the Czech Republic, don't love it enough. So, <laughs> you know, I, I want to talk about that. Uh, but before we get into that, um, I would like to encourage our viewers, uh, people that are watching us live, to post comments. This is called Interactive English for a reason. We would like people to get involved here and ask me and Davide some questions or make comments. I know this is not. I know football is not for everyone. <laughs> we need to infect more people with this with this wonderful interest, with this wonderful hobby, yeah. Davide. I think there are still people who don't <laughs> love football enough, like Helen, for example, who feels targeted for some reason. <laughs> I think this is the reason why. But um, yeah, she wrote you a lovely, encouraging message. And um, yeah, it's time to get started. So, Davide, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit to us? Yeah, as you mentioned, I come from Italy. I'm old. I almost fifty. I'm uh, actually forty-eight, and uh, I'm married. I have two two kids, Julia, uh, almost eighteen, and Gabriele, thirteen years old. And uh, yeah, my a very a very normal very normal life. I'm being trying to reach a, a better level in English because my job, because it's my passion. 
because music and football and Premier League, uh, so it's a good uh, it's a good way, in my opinion, to spend uh, my time, my free time. I'm very busy, like all the people, because involved in many in many stuff about their job and family. And we chose a few years ago to adopt a dog and a cat. So as you can imagine, uh, Zenek is a is a big deal. It's a big trouble of my family. But anyway, English for me it's a it's a good way. And uh, I really love I really love it. I'm um, really enjoying. It to attend your uh, Discord group, Achievers Chamber, mm-hmm. trying to, it would be very, very nice, as you as you said before, uh, having few people that maybe want to discuss about football. It could be a good, uh, a good opportunity. Exactly. This is one thing I would like to sort of talk about here. Um, mm-hmm. We do have a lot of wonderful members. Some of them are making comments here as we speak. For example, uh, Luke, Lucas, uh, says that you look great for a 48 year old <laughs> dude <laughs> and Thank Helen you, is Luke. a member and others but these guys are not necessarily interested in football so mm-hmm. what I would say is that once we get a few more members like you Davide mm-hmm. I promise that we will start a weekly event where we have regular discussions about football like 30 minutes every week we just sort of summarize the, the football week in uh, w- whichever leagues we watch, Premier League, Italian League, German League. I would like to introduce this, this event, but I'm waiting with it for, mm-hmm. for having more members in the group. I think we're not ready yet because we're not, there are not enough of us there yet that, that, yeah. that, that are interested in football. It would be great. Yeah, it would be but nice. hopefully we, we will get there at some point. This is, this is the idea. Yes. Okay, so um, Italy, Italy, what a lovely country. I was there um, in September. Mm-hmm. I was there in September, Davide. I was in Spotorno, Spotorno, mm-hmm. uh, in, the, in the north of Italy. Did you, sorry, did I miss it or did you tell us where you were from? Where no, no, exactly? no, it's correct. You pronounce, you, you pronounce very, very correctly. No, no, but... But did you tell us where you are from? Or ah, where I come from? I'm from the the, the north of Italy, Milan, close mm-hmm. to Milan actually. And uh, yes, I'm thinking about Spotorno. I I never been to Spotorno, but uh, you chose a, a very a very good uh, uh, period of uh, of the year because September it's a good uh, it's a good period yeah. because it's not so warm. It's not still uh, cold. Yes, yeah, a good time. Yeah right. Yeah right. No, I enjoy, I definitely enjoyed my time there, and mm-hmm. and I, I I had a feeling that Italian people loved talking to me in English. It was <laughs> as if I felt like it was some kind of superpower or something. It felt like a superpower. The the, the second I opened my mouth speaking English, they were like, "Oh, I want to speak to you. I want to be your friend." <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, probably we would like to achieve a better level having the every. Using every chance to speak with English with someone yeah. who can uh, who can teach us, and you and you are a teacher, so probably they understood could have been a good chance. But you mentioned, exactly. uh, if I remember yeah. correctly, you mentioned that you teach to Italian guys in uh, in your past in your previous experience in London. Maybe you said I have taught a lot of Italian people in London, specifically in London, because mm-hmm. um, I used to teach at summer camps four summers in a row, four summers mm-hmm. back to back. And the vast majority of the, the students were from Italy, Italian teenagers. Like, I would say like 80% of all students were Italian teenagers. So I've got a, a vast experience uh, with uh, specifically this nationality. And I, I do enjoy teaching, teaching you because you're, you're, you're full of energy and very talkative and passionate. And, I, and, and you share this passion for football with me, mm-hmm. which is which is always great. So you know, I've got, I, I really enjoy teaching Italian people in gen in general. Okay, but we're okay. here to talk about football. Um, so, um, Davide, I think you've already mentioned it, but tell us a bit more. So, what is your team? What team do you yes. support? My team is Juventus. Um, Juventus is a team from Torino, which is mm-hmm. not the the city where I've been living. But uh, probably is the um, 
uh, yes, I was joking, uh, mentioning that is the is the most important, but probably is one of the most important teams in Italy. Um, and uh, because my my dad, my father, because uh, he used uh, to listen uh, the um, the matches with the uh, I don't remember the name the radio when the radio during the eighties. I remember these Sundays, yeah. all all these people listening uh, the the matches on radio, and it was mm -hmm. very fun. Yeah, and uh, he was a you we went to supporter, so as you can imagine, I was a child, so watching my dad, uh, he was a you went to supporter, and I, and I am. And tonight well, you know, we're, we... we're playing, we're playing uh, against uh, or versus. Inter Milan because of the return of mm. the semi final of Coppa Italia. Big game, big game. Well, you have also mm. been involved in some sort of uh, fraud, fraudulent practices, right? And I think your points were deducted at first, but now they were given back to you. Or am I am I wrong about that? Uh, there was some sort of issue with some finances. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. They yeah. yeah yeah docked fifteen points because um. Yeah, some something related to the to the rules, to the law. Probably, if I understood correctly, they uh, overvalued uh, uh, some players that they sold. Uh, I don't know. They broke exactly, the financial but, rules, basically. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Mm. Uh, now we're we had back the, these fifteen points, but it's not finished yet. We're waiting for another court to be sure that yeah. we will have these. Points. The lawsuit, the lawsuit, uh, mm, still, yeah, still happening. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, um, where is your team right now in that in the table in uh, Serie A? With with the the fifteen points back, we are on the uh, on the third on the third because uh, Napoli Napoli is playing another another game another another league this year because uh, they are probably. Mm -hmm have a 15 points on the second mm -hmm. and uh, the second one is Lazio and we are on the third but uh, we lost three matches uh, on, in a row on the row um, but uh, in, we did not we don't care because um, this moment uh, as I mentioned Napoli is playing uh, another tournament so they're going to win of course, the the league this year, and uh, they are playing great. They have a great, uh, great players, uh, and they changed a lot this year because yeah. uh, Insignia and the Mertens went away. Now they have uh, Quaraxtelia and um, other great players. Spalletti is doing a great, a great job as a manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Re I, I've mentioned this to you in the Achievers Chamber that I think it's very refreshing that mm -hmm. Napoli look like exactly. they are going to win the league. It's it's not it's not certain yet, but it's almost yeah, a foregone conclusion, the next right? One, the next yeah. one in a in a match they can, and you can't imagine what uh, was going to happen to to Naples because uh, it's a very hot region, very hot uh, city. They love Napoli. Yeah. In a very in a very warm way, as you can imagine, and uh, Napoli is going to to be uh, incredible in the in the next in the next weeks. The last time was with right. Maradona, if I remember correctly. So many many years. The ago. last time they won was when yeah. Diego Maradona played for Napoli. Oh, wow! Exactly. <laughs> what yeah. do you think he's? What do you think he's thinking? He, what do you think he thinks of all this uh, up there? <laughs> uh, Maradona uh, has been loved from the Napoletani and from the Italian people as well, because uh, I loved um, the controversial uh, things that he lived uh, in his life. Uh, it uh, was his own business. He was uh, a great, great player. So, in my opinion, it would be very, and he will be very happy because Napoli is going to win again, the third time the the Serie A. They already, my yeah. colleague went to to Napoli and mentioned that uh, they already had the 
the city with the the number three <laughs> everywhere. Fantastic. Um, mm. Well, obviously, Italy is a traditional team and uh, doing so well in in history in football history in general. Um, in the World Cups, right now, you the the last European Cup was was also won by Italy. However, your team didn't qualify to the World Cup in Qatar, and I wanted to ask you how that made you feel, and if it was like, was it really embarrassing for Italy, or Not have you only. already forgot? Not all in Qatar. Put... Even even the, the the previous ones, we lost. Really? Yeah, yeah, we lost the two. Okay. We didn't attend the two world world uh, championship. We really? it, the, the, yeah. The incredible thing oh. is that we we won the European <laughs> versus versus England and uh, you did. And yeah, we didn't attend the world championship. It's a shame. I think somebody is somebody isn't happy about you winning it. Maybe. Yeah, the probably. greatest thieves, Matteo. <laughs> My Matteo, he has an Italian name. <laughs> I don't understand what he ma- meant by that. The greatest thieves. <laughs> He's a joke, apparently. So. <laughs> the greatest thieves. Who is I thought. Thieves? I thought. I thought. I thought it was some. At first, I thought it was somebody uh, from England talking about the uh, the European final, the European Cup final. But I, Matteo is an Italian name, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, sure. I, loved, not... I loved, I uh, loved the the England uh, the England players. Um, I I I'm really I'm really spoke. I remember Harry Maguire, for example, was great during the European League. Yeah, and the many what other, and many other. Yeah, hmm. I was very scared because they scored immediately after a few minutes, the first half. Yeah, and then we yeah then we scored. I thought. Uh, very very great very great uh, match and uh, the keeper saved uh, against uh, Serginho that when I arrived Serginho I I thought to myself okay he's gone and yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, he saved and he saved it was great I remember that I remember mm-hmm. that yeah was his name Donnarumma the goalkeeper Donnarumma is our I was referring to the England keepers that saved uh, against uh, Serginho yes Donnarumma saved saved the three three goals three penalties during yeah. But, okay. yeah yeah three penalties he's was yeah yeah well. lovely lovely okay so uh, Mate- Matteo is explaining uh, who he is and he's he supports Hellas Verona by the way oh <laughs> yeah Hellas Verona um unfortunately this year Hellas Verona is not is not going that well but uh hmm. I remember a few few years ago when uh, they had uh, the Cholo Simeone, the the Cholito Simeone. They played a very great uh, tournament, and he scored a lot. And uh, he moved to Napoli, if I remember correctly, and uh, mm-hmm. he did well. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Yeah. We also yes, have Hellas Nuru- Verona. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No. No. Go, go on. Ella Verona is one of the uh, historical teams here in Italy. Very respect. Mm-hmm. Okay, we also have Nrup. I think you you know Nrup from my football show because I, I know you have seen my football show before. Eh? So you know who yeah. Nrup is. The Arsenal fan, my friend from India. And he has posted a lot of comments. So I'm, I'm going to pick one of the most interesting. I'm going to pick this question for you because I think Nrup genuinely wants to know what you think. So, um, do you think sacking, Pir- sacking P- Pirlo and reappointing Allegri was a mistake? Uh, uh, the greatest, the greatest mistake. I was, I was with Pirlo. I, I mm. spoke many times with my friends talking about this topic. Yeah. And my first reaction was that it was a shame. Absolutely, because Pirlo did great the fifth year. He was uh, the first here as a manager of a Serie A team. And uh, he won two cups and um, allowed Juventus to, to, to go to championship. So I, I, didn't, I didn't understand at all why this day they decided to, to change for Allegri. I can't, I can't understand. He did great. Allegri, he's a great manager for sure, but uh, he's doing a, a way to play the, the team that I can't believe. 
Vlaovic is not scoring mm. anymore. He scored a lot when he was to Fiorentina. Vlahovic, such a such a such a great player, yeah. Yeah, we paid a mm. lot of money for Vlaovic, but he was always injured and uh, he's scoring anymore. I don't know, maybe it's because the the way to 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 play, because Allegri what he said. But he said the same things with Morata. And then we when he came back to Spain, oh, he's doing a bit better. I, he's not scoring that so much because he's not like uh, Holland or other great players, a great forward player. But uh, when he was to Juventus, he uh, he played on the wings, on the right wings, trying to to achieve the other player to score. But it's not his role, in my opinion. I would have preferred to have Pirlo at, at mm. least for a couple of years, trying to give him a chance before to change yeah. again. It seems like a lot of owners overthink this or just over ambitious, and uh, like something is happening to football because there are so many managerial changes that don't make any sense anymore. What happened at Chelsea, for example, yeah, with Tuchel, how he was fired? That made absolutely no sense and it looked like there was something personal between the owner and Tuchel uh, then of course now we <laughs> for some reason Tuchel is uh, involved again in this but there was this manager at Bayern Munich that was doing really well with them yeah <laughs> and uh, yet he was fired and they hired Thomas Tuchel who isn't doing so well now so mm. yeah weird things are happening in the world of football these days and uh, Antonio Conte. Yeah, sometimes it's a lately was gamble from Tottenham. Yeah, but Conte he sacked himself, right? First of <laughs> yes, all, yeah, yes, first of all, yeah. we have to say Tot Tottenham is a terrible team. Like, sorry, but like, <laughs> I don't know why Conte even went there. Such a good manager. Like, why? Why did he <laughs> tarnish his reputation? <laughs> He's gonna have Tottenham on his CV now. Come on. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm just joking, but uh, you know what I mean. Like Conte, he, he sacked himself. He he started talking against the owners in in mm. one of the press conferences as if he wanted to go. Like he he decided to go, and he in in an incredibly in an incredible fashion, he started talking about the fact that at Tottenham nobody ever wins anything because of the club mentality and because of um, the mindset they have there and. Basically, it was it was an attack. It was a personal attack on the owners, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, and then, of course, he was he was sacked uh, the next morning, right? So, and then there was an interim manager who was also sacked after they got defeated by Newcastle United six uh, one. <laughs> yeah, that happened as well. Mm -hmm. So the first part of the of the interview, the the press interview of Conte, in my opinion, was good because uh, he said that uh, the player has to play with more effort, giving more effort, and etc. But yeah, the second part, when I yeah when I listened, I okay, he's gone because it's impossible to say uh, these things to the uh, to the owner of the of the team. I agree, I, I yeah. wonder if he was punished for it in some way, like if he had to pay a fine or something, because this is something wow. like. Honestly, this this would be like for me like terminate. What's it called? Like a uh, violation of the contract or something? Because like mm. you cannot talk like that, can you? Like if somebody is paying you, part of it is you you need to sort of speak in a way that does not show the 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 team in a bad light. I don't know. It's maybe I'm old. Call me old fashioned, but I just I don't know how he can get away with this and not get fined. I honestly don't know what happened there. and I, I don't really care. It's Tottenham, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, Davide, is there anything else you would like to mention before we call it a day? Obviously, there will be a feedback section. I've got a few things to talk to you about, but I have to say, your English has been brilliant. I don't have much. I don't have much to correct here. So... <laughs> um, to be, I, I think for the first time, I'm, I'm going to... To give it again because uh, I felt very relaxed to you and uh, thank you because uh, you give me this chance as I mentioned uh, and um, no not not anymore I I can I would like to salute to to say hello to all the people that uh, is watching it uh, and um, okay maybe as you said uh, 
we will have more chances to talk about football even the in the Chivas Chamber in another in event. Absolutely. And if not about football, we, we also talk about other things, right? Yeah, so of course. Definitely. You know, this is this is a place uh, that I made for English learners and it's 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 very affordable as well. And I think it's worth it's worth a try. You know, you can you can I, I'm willing to give people a trial as well. I actually like to do that. So if you guys contact me, you find me on social media and you, you don't want to pay for it yet because you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to use it well or if it's going to suit my needs. Guess what? If you contact me and you say, hey, Zdenek, can I try it for like one week? You have it. I'll give it to you because you know what? I want people to be happy there. I want people to really appreciate the service. And uh, obviously when they do that, it's, it's going to, of course, uh, make things e make things easier for myself as well. By the way, Damian seems to be very unhappy that we moved <laughs> he moved the <laughs> life. <laughs> Damian, do you know who we have to blame for that? It's actually Davide's dog. Davide, now you have to explain it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, I asked I asked to 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 Zenek to move uh, a bit early the the conversation because. Uh, one of my other tasks, but Damien knows because uh, I shared with him uh, the fact that I adopted the dog, and uh, his son uh, would like to have a to have a dog. Damien, don't do it, don't do it. Wait, wait for a few years. <laughs> but I asked to to Danek to to anticipate a bit because I have to walk my dog after yeah, this conversation. Yeah, I, did, I didn't see I didn't see it as an issue, and uh, obviously. Thank you. People can still watch this. Obviously, they they will have missed the live show, which for some people is, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit better because you, you sort of feel like you're part of it. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's not the worst to watch it uh, later either, I guess. You can watch the whole show from the beginning. Yeah, that's, that's what Damian is going to do, apparently. So, yeah. You missed some good pep talk about Davide and his passion for the old lady. Absolutely. I absolutely did, did Noob, but that, this is, we'll have to save it for another day because we don't have so much time. Uh, I, like, I like the expression, the old lady as well. So this is another way to refer to Juventus Turin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they old lady. Why, why the, is there a story behind it? Why is it called the old lady? I, I don't know exactly, but prob probably because, uh, as we said, there was one of the first team in Italy, so uh, and maybe for the style because um, it's famous that in Juventus uh, you have to to behave in some way. You can't, yes. uh, yeah. So I think it's like uh, okay. something like this. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Helen says that uh, she 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 thinks we we are lucky that. There are other sub that we talk about other subjects than football in the Achievers Chamber. Other subject, <laughs> she co corrected herself. Yeah, so yeah, I, I understand. Like football is not for everyone. It's it's one of the things uh, we do. But uh, I would like to mix it up, and hopefully, you know, that's that's what the Achievers Chamber is about as well. Like, I think it's almost unrealistic for the members to join every single event. Mm -hmm. We do have some members who do that, but. Most of the members don't do that. Most of the members pick their event or their, the days they are available, the times they, that are suitable to them, you know, and you have a choice. So if football is not your thing, you wouldn't join such an event, right? Uh, and so on. Today we are doing an event uh, where we're going to play uh, some games as well. So, you know, uh, there's a bit, bit of everything there. But that will be it for today's live. I'm going to quickly share my screen here, uh, Davide. Just look at mm -hmm. a few things, not so many actually. And uh, let's see if we can correct those things. So uh, English for me, it's a good way. I notice you say this a lot. You say, make this expression, it's a good way. So I wonder mm -hmm. if we can like replace it with something. Like it's very sort of vague. It's like, the expression like what what do you what do you actually mean by that right um yes I, my my intention is say that is is yeah. a good opportunity it's a, right, it's right, a right, way right, right. it's a yeah but what do you mean like it's a good way it's 
it's a good way to do something. Yeah, you would in English. I think you would say it's a good way to do mm. something, right? Ah, okay. But I don't know if you would use it on its own like this. It's a good way. Hmm. It's a good way to live your life, or it's a good way to to spend your time. It's a good way to develop um, um, your language skills, something like that. You know, I think you would have you would follow it with something else. Um, ah, okay. Yes, I understand uh, or, what you. Yeah, I, I, personally, I would I would uh, add something to it, but not not a big deal to be honest. My father used to listen the matches on radio. So, well, how would you? Fix this. That, that I think there are a few little words missing in that sentence that I would, I would use say. Use listening. That. Use listening. Maybe. No, no, no. That's actually good. Used to listen is fine, but then, isn't there a preposition after the word listen after the verb? Listen, do you listen. do you listen the radio? Do you listen podcast or do you listen beep podcast? <laughs> You listen, you listen to you listen to a podcast you listen to the to matches radio, really really mm -hmm. yeah you need yeah. To, you always with uh, if you have something if you if you have like a, a sort of object after the verb listen you need a preposition yeah so you listen to my voice you listen to the podcast you listen to uh, your dog listens to you okay you listen to your wife or something like that. You always need two, okay? Okay. And then radio, it, it, it's used. It's used with the as well on the radio. On the radio. On the radio. Yeah. And it's. I don't know why they say on TV, but they say on the radio. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, now this one. Easy. Yeah, this one. We talk. We were talking about you went to Studin and their problems with. Um. Basically, with their finances and all that. And how do you pronounce this word, Davide? How should you pronounce this word? I I can see very as I as I said, Zanek. I okay. can see very little because I am using okay, the I'm, phone. That's okay. I'm gonna spell it out for you. L A W. How do we pronounce this word? L A W. Yes. How should we pronounce that word? Hmm. Low. 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 The low, the low. Not low. Low would be L O W. It's low is the opposite of high, right? Low level, high level. But this word, uh, okay. was, this word is law. Law. Hmm. Yeah. So you could say Juventus Turin had had problems with law or have problems with law. Do you okay. wanna? Do you wanna try? Do you wanna pronounce it? Juventus Torino had problem with law. Law, law. With law. Just, yeah, just keep, 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 keep your mouth sort of open with that with that uh, vowel sound. Only it's with a the long. O. Oh, just, just, just sort of keep, with law. Like, that's it. Perfect. That's perfect. Basically, you need to round your lips when you when you make that sound. Law. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then you said we are on the third. I think. Mm. I'm not sure if this is how it's used. We are on the third. Hmm. I think there's a different preposition that is used here. Hmm. I think you can say either we are third. Mm -hmm. We are. We are. We are. We are second. You would say we are second right now. Yeah. You would say we are, we are. We are second in the league or something like that, right? We are third in the league. That's what mm -hmm. people would say. And if you want to use a preposition, you would have to say we are in the third place. Okay. In the uh, third place. I wouldn't I wouldn't use place. Mm, I wouldn't use on here. Okay. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah then you said off. then you in said we row. lost in a row. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh how do you pronounce this word? Um uh, can you see it? Tournament. Okay, very good. Very good pronunciation. That's it. Uh, the conversation is the way... Uh, oh, no. Contro the controversion. I think we were talking about Maradona, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you said something like the controversy. I think the word controversion, I think it's the word is it's not the right word. The contro... 
controversy or the controversy depends on how you want to pronounce it there are two ways to pronounce it but controversy controversy okay mm -hmm. is the way he he lived his life he lived his life very good lived lived yeah that's it mm -hmm. unfortunately this year verona isn't going so well instead of going you want to use a different verb it's not playing they're not playing so yeah well. you could say you could say playing or you could also say doing yeah isn't doing isn't, mm, yeah yeah um yeah very respect yeah <laughs> yeah very respect. i have very respect for uh alice uh, uh david the problem is he cannot use very with a noun mm. yeah so respect is a noun a very is 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 a word which we use with adjectives so you, you can say very uh, very little or very very tall very good right but you cannot say very instead of very you need to say you need to use something else mm -hmm. i have i have respect without yes uh, you, without yeah you, yeah yeah that would work and if you want to intensify it you can say i have a lot of respect mm -hmm. yeah for verona that that's it so you cannot use very there and then you said i'd like to say hello to all the people i think you said who is watching who is watching Probably. yeah so is this correct people is it is people plural or singular people is plural mm -hmm. all, so so can you use is can you say is watching are, we're watching are watching yes very good very good and then i ask to zdenek to move our conversation so i asked zdenek without that's two. it very good very good that's it davide that's it a few things we we looked at a, a few things and that's what we do here uh, in this life i hope you liked it yeah and a lot, um very much yeah me too i had a really good time i think a uh, lot of people have been watching us as well live that's that's great because i can always see uh the number of viewers live so good job uh okay i'll just put up some comments just to end this to end this show <laughs> okay i think the group is uh Nrup is referring Zombie. to the to the old lady again, I believe, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Dav and then Damian says having a dog is like having a personal trainer who constantly challenges you. Except instead of lifting weights, you're lifting poo bags. <laughs> 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 that is a great way to to a great note to end to end on. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this live, please give us a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time watching. I know this may sound annoying, but I have to do this. I have to say this because people don't do it. <laughs> and it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Davide, have a great day. Say hi you to too. your dog. Thank you very and, much, everybody. And thank you, And Danik. take care and good luck to Juventus Turin. Yeah, this, this evening uh, um, we, are, we are playing. We will see. Thank you very much everybody take care bye bye bye